tips that we had to cipher through this morning. Uh, we did piece together with information that we currently had on the suspects involved. Um, we brought some of those people in, we talked to witnesses, we got a lot of information, and everything's been going non-stop since, 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 since this incident happened, um, resulting in the culmination and arrest of Mr. Davis. And what you're hearing right there is the most recent update on that convenience store shooting that happened yesterday in Fort Wayne. And that is the breaking news we begin with for you right now. Fort Wayne detectives have made an arrest in that shooting. Thanks for choosing us. I'm Brian McElhatt. And I'm Krista Miller. Police arrested 38-year-old Daryl Davis. ABC 21's Corinne Rose is here now with a look at how police say your tips continue to make a difference in this case, Corinne. Yeah, police sources tell me thanks to what they're calling an avalanche of tips, they've already identified some of the other people involved in yesterday's homicide as well, in addition to that man that they thought was the shooter, Daryl Antone Davis. It has been a whirlwind 24 hours for detectives investigating Wednesday morning's convenience store shooting death of 22-year-old Stefan Holland. After sharing security camera photos of five men considered people of interest in the homicide, Fort Wayne police are now sifting through all those tips. Homicide team detectives want to question all of those men in the images about what happened inside the quick shop at the Shell gas station at State and Hobson. Holland died at the scene after being shot in the chest during a brief argument just inside the door. And what investigators would like now is to find people who were in the area in order to help fill in the big picture. And there's always the possibility that those witnesses are out there, whether someone was sitting on the lot or across the street or watched people run into a certain car or to a certain building. Um, those are always great tips to have. And then we can kind of combine them with tips that come in and then knowledge of what we have from um, already going through this process of the investigation. Now, if you know where any of these men from the photos are, you can call the Detective Bureau at 427-1201 or Crime Stoppers at 436-7867. Again, police have identified the man they believe is the shooter and a couple of others, but they might still need some more information. And Sergeant Rosales Catina says she believes the homicide team of detectives will make more arrests in Holland's homicide soon. Brian. All right, stay tuned there, Corinne. Thank you. For